You know, for many years there, you could not read um, any New York Times or any other story, a uh, mainstream media story on genetically engineered foods without them saying, oh, genetic engineering has increased yield and reduced the use of pesticides. But there's still some people who don't like them. This was, this was just commonplace. And both are lies, outright lies, right? Genetically engineered crops are not designed to increase yield. They are designed to allow primarily for the spraying of herbicides on them that normally would have killed them, but they've been engineered now to be able to tolerate them so they kill the weeds and not the corn, the soy, or the cotton. They're not, they're not made for more yield. By the way, even if there were more yield, it wouldn't mean more food because no one eats that stuff, right? Primarily, right? But, but it's not even for more yield. As a matter of fact, with soy, there's actually a yield drag. It actually creates yet less yield. Some people say it's because the kind of soy they're using, other people think it's because of genetic engineering, but the bottom line is about a 5% yield drag. So it does not increase food. It was never intended to in increase food or yield in any way. That's not, it's there to increase the use of herbicides, of chemicals. That's why Monsanto, DuPont, Dow sell them. They are not food companies. They are chemical companies. Their job is to pay off their shareholders through the sale, increased sale of chemicals. They invented a technology that increases the sale of chemicals. That is what they do. Anything about increased food or less chemical use would be ridiculous. Why would a company that is thriving on the use of these chemicals want less chemical use? It's comical and it's very sad. You don't see it much anymore, but it's very sad that all those years the mainstream media just went along with that mantra. It, it, it's actually it's ridiculous. Um, GMOs do not increase food, they do not increase yield, and they massively increase the use of these biocides. End of story. Monsanto owns over a quarter. You know, right now it's probably around 26-27% of the world's commercial seeds. So Monsanto, because of the, uh, of the government subsidies that are given to these biofuels, remember a huge percentage, depends on what you read, 35 to 45 percent of all of our corn and, and, and a slightly lesser percentage of our soy is going into gasoline. So Monsanto became a fuel company. You know, you think of Exxon or you think of some other, no, Monsanto and, the, and some of the other GMO guys became, hey, we're selling fuel. And the government's paying for it. The government's subsidizing us, by the way, for no reason. It does not help with, with climate change, climate chaos, nothing. It doesn't help with that. So it's, it's, it's really just, a, uh, it's just corporate welfare uh, for Monsanto. But they were able to use that money, you know, that huge amount of money that they were getting for selling this fuel and being subsidized as well, to buy up seed companies. And that's what they've been doing all over the world. It's kind of their plan B. They know that the weeds are going to get eventually completely resistant to all of their chemicals. They know, they know that, that the, the, the world of genetically engineered crops, or at least 90 plus percent of it, is gonna be over in a very few years, five to 10 years. Nature will bat last, it is already batting last, it, and they know the world's not gonna accept it. So this whole supposed revolution is gonna be over. But they have a plan B. They're gonna laugh all the way to the seed bank. They're gonna say, you know what? We, GMOs are gone, but we, have, we own the seeds of the world, folks and good luck, they're trying to get them and not pay us. So that's their plan B. And, and now they're consolidating. We're gonna have most, mostly three companies because Monsanto is gonna be consolidating with Bayer. Dow is being consolidated with DuPont. Uh, Syngenta is being consolidated with ChemChina. So soon we're gonna have these three monoliths. They're gonna own 60, 70% of the world's seeds and that is their plan. They, GMOs will be forgotten and all their promises and all that nonsense will be gone, but very, very scary for us. And this is something that we need to address on a worldwide basis, both by saving our own seeds, starting a citizen seed movement, and making sure that our governments do not allow this to continue to happen.